1-800-DUIOA, now offering free remote consultations by phone or video conference for any criminal offense. Trust Brooke, Jeffrey, and Jose's friends with a free remote consultation. From Bradley Johnson Lawyers, visit 1-800-DUIOA.com or call 1-800-DUIOA. It's another phone tab. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5. Hello? Hi, this is Marvin from Shoes. I'm looking to speak with a Mr. Rich Yeah, this is Rich. Well, good afternoon, Rich. How are you doing today? Fine. Uh, so what's this about? Well, we noticed that you sent back the shoes you purchased from us recently. And we were just wondering, is there a particular issue or a problem that you were having with those? No, no, not necessarily. They're just, they weren't what I expected. Okay. Well, we could send you another pair instead of giving you a refund. Would you be interested I, in doing I don't I don't think so. I already got a replacement, so just a refund would be great. All right. Well, as you know, our company has that one-for-one one policy where whenever you purchase a pair of shoes from us, we donate a pair to a child in need in Africa. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah. So since you're officially returning your shoes, we are obligated to take back the shoes we donated to the family in Africa. Well, hold on. What? And since you were the buyer... Hold on. What do you mean by that? What are you saying? Let me just put a face to it for you. So there's a six-year-old girl named Nichelle from a village in Ethiopia. She was the recipient for your shoe purchase. Okay. So now you're going to have to write her a letter and explain why we need to take her shoes back. You're taking her shoes? Well, no, I'm not taking them. You're taking her shoes. So if you could no, help I'm not, to... I'm not... <laughs> no, no, I'm not doing that. Well, you told me you wanted to give the shoes back. So with the one-in-one -one policy, we also have to take back Nichelle's shoes. What kind of company does that? Sir, when you purchased the shoes, it was very clear in the one-to-one -one policy that this is how it works. That cannot be in the agreement. I don't believe this at all. Uh-uh. We're going to forward you Nichelle's address so you can write her that letter and explain that a group of people are going to be coming to her house later and oh, pulling the shoes off of her feet. No. That's all we would need on your end. Oh, no. Can't you just let her keep the shoes? We could let her keep them if you didn't want to return yours, but you've already clearly stated several times you don't want them anymore. <sighs> Fine, fine. Just send me the shoes back. I don't want to take, like, a poor child's shoes away. Oh, well, that's great news. So you've changed your mind then? Uh, yeah, but, I mean, you know, it does, it sounds like blackmail is what you're doing here. No, no, no. That, I mean, that's just the one-to-one -one policy, so, but it's really good news that you've changed your mind. It's very refreshing to hear. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Just let her keep her damn shoes. All right, she'll be happy to hear that. That will be $30 shipping and handling. <laughs> What? No, what? for what? Well, for the shipping of the shoes back to you. Oh, my God. Unless you want us to take someone else's shoes to oh. pay for your delivery. Oh, no. God, are you kidding me? Like, what does this end? Are you gonna, are you gonna this keep, is all like, in the one-to-one like, -one policy. It's a shoe for buy, a shoe. I don't buy one-for-one -one policy. It sounds like you're scamming people, Sir, and I don't want to be part of this. Look, you can think what you want to think, but just where we're at right now, I need to know, is it yes or no on the shipping and handling? Holy sh just charge me the money and like just let them have their shoes. Okay. Ah, I thought this was a charity. This is just like a like a shoe mafia. You're just, okay. What you want. So what I'm hearing is you're saying yes, you would like to pay the thirty dollars shipping in hand. Yeah, just one time. That's okay. it. That's all you're getting out of me. That's very very generous of you. I'm I'm very impressed. I just have Look, to just, say. Please just stop kissing my. Ass. Like, are we done with this? Can we move <laughs> this along. I would kiss your feet, but they've got our shoes on it. <laughs> yeah, well, not yet. I mean, I'm I'm paying thirty dollars to have them shipped to my house that is true that is true we do appreciate your business sir so are we done yet well before we go can i interest you in some complimentary sandals for your time you've just been no, so understanding not complimentary anything you're taking all my time you're, you're taking all my money i don't want it i well, don't want it i don't want it if you say yes to the complimentary sandals a child in need will receive some as well uh, if you oh, say God. no the child goes yeah, without one for one right one for one. yeah okay yes 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 give them the sandals Okay? Yes. Give the sandals. Are we done? Okay, yes. great. That'll be $30 shipping and handling for your sandals and then $30 for the child's sandals. No! No, 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 no. You just said it was free. That's $60. The sandals are free, but the shipping and handling is not included. And trust me. Okay, this me, is the biggest scam I've ever heard of. I'm going to go to the Better Business Bureau. I'm going to tell them what you're doing. Well, before you do that, I, I just need to let you know this is actually Jeffrey from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning doing a phone tap on you. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, it's a joke. Oh, my. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. Your sister Kendall set you up. She said that you returned a pair of shoes recently and you felt really guilty about it. <laughs> oh, that's 
messed up. You were saying that you got to take the kid's shoes. Yo, is that weird? <laughs> yeah, it's weird. It's totally f***ed up. All right. That will be $30 for doing this prank on you, though. My answer will. That's my... <laughs> Wake up every morning with phone taps. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on Moving 92.5.